A grazing board so big it will barely fit on the table. Quite possibly the best burger you'll ever eat. And s'mores so luxuriously rich it will put you into a higher tax bracket. Some of the best foods south of Boston can now be found at Nosh and Grog. <music> Located at the village shops at Cobb Corner, where the towns of Canton, Sharon, and Stoughton converge, Nosh and Grog has brought next-level cooking to the suburbs, courtesy of chef owner Shelvin Randolph. And the locals here couldn't be happier. The response has been tremendous. I mean, people are like, this place has been a blessing. For it to not be another chain restaurant and really be centered right here in the center of Cobb's Corner has paid amazing dividends. Ever since it opened in the fall of 2023, this stylish 150-seat spot has become a destination for high-end food in a highly comfortable atmosphere. This vibe is very casual and unpretentious, yet very serious about what we do. So we want people to feel like they're at home, but have an experience that exceeds their expectations. Chef Shelvin describes the food here as new American with global inspiration and an unwavering focus on fresh and local ingredients. Being a scratch kitchen and sourcing food that is locally grown is huge for us. To start the meal at Nosh and Grog, there are approachable appetizers like pulled pork egg rolls with charred peach duck sauce, or something more upscale, like the inventively delicious lobster roll bao, featuring caviar topped butter poached lobster, kewpie mayo, and fermented citrus inside a steamed and seared bao bun. The bao bun is really taking a New England approach to an Asian dish. Lobster rolls are synonymous with New England, but to have that twist on it, but still invoke all the flavors of New England is really, really cool. If you're looking for the ultimate sharing and tasting experience, look no further than Nosh and Grog's motherboard, an enormous board filled with a chef's selection of butters, cheeses, charcuterie, mazze, and breads. Everything on the board, and even the board itself, is made in-house. It's something that's hugely popular, and it was kind of my way of making a grazing board that I thought would appeal to everybody. We literally have two people just to carry it to a table, so it is very much a show stopper and I think one of the biggest photos I've seen is people taking pictures of their motherboards on social media. There are plenty of buzzworthy entrees here as well, like this stunning presentation of corn chowder with Island Creek clams, house cured bacon, corn ribs, and blue cornmeal crusted clam strips, or the chicken nudie with wood roasted chicken, arugula ricotta gnocchi, baby carrots, and crispy chicken skins. It looks like it is really technical, which it is, but it eats like grandma's pot pie. Of of course, some folks just want something simple, and the 14-ounce prime ribeye definitely delivers. We sear it in a cast iron, finish it with black truffle butter, our house-made french fries, and then it comes with a little mini wedge salad. So I wanted to kind of really invoke the whole concept of a steakhouse and meat and potatoes. If you visit Nosh and Grog for lunch, there's really only one item you need to know, the mouth-watering Big Nosh Burger, which absolutely blows away any fast food favorite. I said, how about we make a Big Mac, but make it the best Big Mac you've ever had. It is hand ground, in-house, we make our own buns, the sauce, and then the cheese, it's called New American Cheese, and it is arguably one of the best burgers you'll ever eat. The burger may only be listed on the restaurant's lunch menu, but... While it is not printed on our dinner menu, it is actually available. We have have a limited quantity of them, but if you are in the know, like anybody will who watches this, you can actually ask for the burger and it is available during dinner time, as long as we have some left. On the weekends, Nosh and Grog serves what they call oyster brunch, with upscale offerings like a seafood tower stacked with a selection of oysters, shrimp ceviche, crudo, and more, plus more traditional morning meals like fruity pebbles crusted cereal French toast. There's also an ever-changing late-night menu, which includes Chef Shelvin's take on South Shore bar-style pizza. Pizza's not necessarily something I wanted on our normal menu, but we do a pretty damn good bar pizza. But no matter what time you come here, dessert is a must because you won't find one better than Nosh and Grog's s'mores. And really leaning into nostalgia, one of the dishes that we 
always have is s'mores. What we've been doing is a Japanese custard. We take that and we actually smoke it. We take graham crackers and toast our graham cracker in brown butter and then crush it all up. We make our own marshmallows, torch it, and then I take extra virgin olive oil and make a powder out of it. Kind of looks like powdered sugar. It really is a cool play on that campfire delicious s'mores that you are used to, but really reimagined in a fun and playful way that an adult will enjoy as much as a child. And whether you come for lunch, brunch, dinner, or late night, a meal at Nosh and Grog is one you won't soon forget. It's an experience like you've never had and you never will have again. What we do here, nobody around here is doing. This place is one of one and there's a very good reason for it. We have a lot of fun here, but we're very serious about what we do. And you'll be able to taste it on every single dish here.